Good evening, Bob here. I'm so happy to see all these Valentine's trick videos. You guys are getting cool ideas and great ideas from these, these videos. Here we, we have like six videos so far. Really happy to probably announce to our next video. Which here I'm going to announce to you our seventh installment presenting to you amazingly awesome Valentine's Day tricks, magic, and fantastic love gigs from the heart. Now here is your host of the Valentine's Trick Videos, Reese Naibo. Hello, I'm your host, Reese Naibo, here with some more Valentine's Day tricks. And here's a lot on my channel. Definitely check them out and tell me which ones are your favorite ones out there. As is, there's still more. Um, this is the close to the final one. You guys can see all the tricks that you can do and pull off for Valentine's Day. If you guys are enjoying these videos so far, if you want to know more about these tr tricks, I will be putting all these titles in the description box so that way you guys know what tricks are being performed and done. As it is tonight, I'm going to be showing you more tricks you could do for Valentine's Day. This is your host, Ray Snabo. I will see you inside for the rest of the video. Okay, for this one here, it's all about the heart. This is gonna reach in and watch. Give you a heart. And now, let's carry on with the rest of the video. Okay, so let's get to our first one up. And that is the color changing Valentine's pom poms magic trick. Here is the performance straight to you right now. Okay, so you can see I got these pink pom poms here. How about I can actually magically color change these poms by putting these into my fist like this? Okay. Watch, we're gonna go like this, watch. Then magically change into red pom poms. How is this magic trick done? Because now is the time I reveal the secret. Here's what you'll need to pull off this magic trick. But first, watch. Okay, so all you'll need for this is a magician's thumb tip, your red pom-poms, and the inside of here, I'm going to show you the next things that you'll need. That is, you'll need is some pink pom-poms, which is what you'll see right here on the table. Okay, what's going to do is, you're going to take the reds. You're going to put them into your palm, and with your thumb tip, put that into your palm as well. And now you're prepared to do the trick. Going to get your pink or purple pom-poms, it doesn't have to be pink, it could be other colors too. You just put that into your, your thumb tip, stick your thumb in, and now they think they're taking it that's in this palm here. You're gonna actually now is a ditch your your thumb tip 
at the corner of the table, like this. Okay, wave your hands, step the fingers, and magically change those pink pom-poms into red pom-poms that you see in the middle of my palm. And that is how you do the color-changing Valentine's pom-poms magic trick. For our second one, which is the magic appearing red gem on ring magic trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. Okay, you can see it has it completely empty, right? Watch this. Okay, so you can see I got this ring right here. If I can actually put this onto my finger like this. Watch. I make a gem appear. How is this magical trick done? Because I'm about to reveal this secret to you. Right. Now, all you'll need is this bloodstone gem ring that you see here. You can find this at your local bucket tour or dollar store. Looks very eye catching because it's red. Let's take a look at it. You can admire it up close. Okay, so here is how this trick is done and performed. All you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this part of the ring like this. So it looks like as if you just had one solid band. You're gonna keep holding this part like this and put the ring on your middle, middle finger kind of close to the, the top here. Because as it goes, you have to rotate around your finger, making it appear like that. But you want to be very fast with it by going one, two, and then three. Going up, it'll spin around and it'll magically appear on the ring. And if you want to be creative with it, you can make it just, just disappear. Watch. Disappears and make it reappear again. So you can do that as well too. And that's how you do the magic appearing ring. Red gem on a ring magic trick for our third one, which is the magic love crystals trick gag. Here is the performance of what it looks like. Okay, so you can see all these crystal gems in my hand here. I'm just gonna take one of them at least. Watch. Shines. Mm, very nice red. Watch. Okay. Again, I'm gonna do that to the other one. Again, watch. I'm gonna take a look at these in the dark. I'm gonna show you what these guys look like. In the dark. Okay, you can see I'm holding up um, a gem right here. It's nice and and red. You wanna know how I got it like this? Cause that's the time I reveal the secret. Okay, here are the things that you'll need to get. Clear see-through gems. Your ring is gonna hide this strap here. So that way, it looks very natural. And here is what's making it shine, is the red finger light that you see right here on my pointer finger. Okay, that's what this strap is for. This is why the ring is hiding it. For these gems, you can take a look on the inside. As this comes close, it makes it nice and red, like this. So just by taking one, you're going to hold it and... Pinch it between your pointer finger and thumb, making sure the red gets into the gem, so that way you get to see the red gem. Like this. So it'll look like this. And in the dark, it'll shine 
really well as well too. So you pinch like this, that's all that is to it. In the dark, it'll look like this. So here's a gem. Here's a gem now. That I'm holding up in my fingers. So here's a tip of these rings. These can come like this. They're very adjustable, so you can put them into the right size of your finger. That way, I'm going to get easier to fit. So getting these things and adjusting them to your finger size will help with this very trick and other tricks that you could do with the ring. It's for a really divine trick egg you can pull off for Valentine's Day. And that is how you do the Magic Love Crystals trick egg. For our fourth one, it is the Magic Valentine's Ring Surprise S Sweetheart Trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. Okay, first up you can see the, the hands are completely empty. I'm gonna take this ring here. Watch. We're gonna actually take this and watch. One. And again. Watch. Make another one appear from the Valentine's ring. How is this trick done? I'm about to reveal this to you right now. Here's what you'll need to pull this off. You'll need is what you'll see right here. Okay, so if you look at my palm of hands, all you need is are these two heart shape of Chocolates or egg like, kisses or whatever you choose to pull off this trick and your one of your Valentine's rings purple pink or red What's gonna do is gonna actually palm The chocolates two of them seem to fit the best so as you Pass the ring you're gonna put these chocolates into your other hand making sure you you don't, don't expose them but show your hands completely empty at all times. So now they're inside here, you're gonna use this and as you put down, you're going to drop one, hold into a fist, pull your ring up to expose one of the chocolates, and again repeat that same thing by pounding it down pretty fast and producing another chocolate that came from your Valentine's ring. After the trick is done, heading over to your sweethearts or someone who like to have a Valentine's chocolate. Watch this. You see, I'm mean, just to put this into one, one chocolate. Watch. And not as that, I could actually. Make this get right back to its second ch uh, chocolate. Once in, now watch it come out. Okay, watch. And that is how you do the Magic Valentine's Ring Surprise Sweetheart Trick. For our fifth one, and that is the Magical Lighter Appearing Gold Necklace. Magic trick. Here's the performance of what it looks like. Okay, for this, I'm gonna need my lighter. Let's see, I'm gonna use this and make a gold necklace come out of it. Watch. From the lighter, not the stat. How about can actually change this to a different one? You can see this here. Watch. And it changes into red. And when all this is done, I'm about to reveal this to get behind us to you 
right now. Here's what, what you'll need to perform this very amazing trick. Here's all you'll need is what you see right here. A gold, ne a gold bead necklace and a red bead necklace. And of course, your lighter. What you're going to do is, you're going to actually take your red and palm that into your right or left hand on the other side. Take your gold necklace on the other one. Take your lighter, making sure that the uh, red one is not exposed yet. You might want to like make sure that um, you get a good palm grip onto it. Use your thumb. Give it a light. Bring it up. Bring this out by dropping this one down. Putting the lighter down. Then taking this to your other hand and drop this pretty fast down to the ground, dropping the one into your from your other palm like this. So get it fast. Bring it up and change that gold necklace into a red necklace. And that is how you do the magical lighter appearing gold necklace magic trick with a twist. I'll be adding that in and the brackets in the description box. For our uh, sixth one, which is the Happy Valentine's Day flower mist love gag. Here is the performance of what it looks like. Okay, so you can see my uh, flower here. How about I can actually see if this flower can give us some mist. mist. Usually, sometimes flowers do give us some mist. So, so, sometimes. Let's see. Look. You know this is done? The last time I reveal something to you right now. All it is, is going to be a tropical Breeze, mist, it comes out like a mist. Like that. And all you need is a flower, a fake one. You don't want to do it to a real one. What it's going to do is you're going to hide this up above where the petals are like this. And from here, all you got to do is make sure the head's kind of turn a little bit. This is palm palmable into your hand like this. So as you go from here, use your thumb. And it's going like this. You can see the mist coming off the flower. After it's done, give this a ditch. And you can take a look at the fl at the flower. You can also move around. You can see the drillets, some kind of flying off of it. It'll also uh, cr create a nice organic look to this trick. Besides as making it mist, it also smells really good too. That way you'll get a nice good um, erotic smell with it and it will also enlighten someone's day and it'll make them <sighs> just absolutely just want to fall in love with that, with that nice gentle smell. Before I get into it, is the best romantic trick gag you can ever do for your, your your loved one. And that is how you do the Happy Valentine's Day Flower Mist Love Gag. For our seventh one, which is the Valentine's Day Wilting Rose Love Fix Trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. You can see my rose here. And sometimes roses can pick up on emotions. I'm sorry. 
Sorry for crying. Wait a minute. Wait a second. I feel absolutely in love. Watch. They go right there from being sad to being loved, and look what happened to the rose. It actually came right back up. Okay, why not? This is done. I'm about to re reveal the sick of hands to you right now. It's very simple and very self working. I'm going to teach you how it's done. All it is is a bending rose. You can now combine the 24 hour with you, can make this, you can make this yourself. This is a pipe cleaner. You can um, just uh, paint it green, give it a nice, good, earthy look with some little leaves on top, and um, you can make the um, rose with some red pipe cl cleaners on it. It really does look like like a, like a rose. Now, this is very simple because all is in the work of your fingers. You're gonna hold with your thumb, bend. Like it's floating and kick back. Like it came back with your pointer finger like this. Okay, because you might want to like do like some you know emotional role play in it. So act a little bit sad and then have it to wilt going down. Make a big smile and make it stand right back up again. And that's how how you fix the rolls from wilting to bring bringing it life inside of it. So again, it'll look like this. And that's how you do the Valentine's Day wilting rose love fix trick. Why is fixing? It's because when you put love into it, the rose will begin to rise up and be filled with the love. That's enough for our eighth one, which is the Magic Valentine's Day Red Heart Pipe Cleaner Magic Trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. Okay, so you can see my pipe, cl my pipe cleaner heart right here. How we can just take this now and watch. It changes into a full heart. How is this? From the heart trick done, is that to feel sick to you? Right now, here's what you'll need to pull this trick off. All you need is your spongy heart that you see right here, nice and foldable. It goes into your palm very nicely, just like this, and it's easy to come out and present itself. Next thing, what you'll need is one red pipe cleaner and make that into a heart shape. The right size of the heart sponge that you created, like this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna palm the sponge into your right or left hand, show your hand empty, and again pass it to your other hand and show the other hand empty. From here, you're going to take this, you're gonna to toss this down very quickly, releasing that that red heart sponge into your hand like this. Then the pipe cleaner heart magically changes into a full red heart. And that's how you do the Magic Valentine's Red Heart Pipe Cleaner Magic Trick. For our ninth one, which is the fantastic magical appearing rose petals in gift box magic trick. Here is a performance of what it looks like. You can see here, I got an empty gift box here. Just gonna actually just now is just to put this onto my lid here. This, okay, I'm gonna put it onto the table here. Watch. And the magic. Rose petals appear in the gift box. How is this done? Is that about to reveal the secret behind this to you? 
right now. Here's what you need for this trick. Okay, all you need is what you see here. You need is a gift box, a nice looking gift box. It's a piece of paper cut into the shape of the gift box on the inside. And what you'll need is some of your rose petals. You're gonna place this into the lid of the gift box like this. Okay. Only you always need a few. Put this on top here. That's what's gonna create the empty look. Like this. So now that's empty. You can take a look at that. You can take a look at the inside of the box here. Place this down. Place your box on top. Turn it upside down. Give a little shake. Um, pat your hand on it. Snap your fingers. Shake again. And then by magic, making some petals magically appear in the gift box. And that is how you do the fantastic, magical appearing rose petals in a gift box magic trick. Now for our tenth one, which is the magic crystals into crystal cube love trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. You can see I'm gonna. Got, I got these crystals here. I'm gonna put these in a palm of my hand. You can see here. Watch this. Gonna hold that like this and watch. It makes itself into a crystal cube. How is this trick done? It's now here's a time I reveal the secret. All you need is this crystal cube. And you'll need is some of your clear crystals. Clear crystals and a clear cube. You've got yourself a mighty fine trick. Okay, what I'm gonna do is gonna actually take the part of this, which is the candle holder. Palm it. As it's going to your fist, it's gonna go into the candle part here. Like right here. Let's make sure you you hide it well. Hold it. Make it up here. Cause you don't see them in the in the inside of it. So you can actually put the seal lap, expelling them out. That way you can show your hands completely empty. And now you can see what what those crystals made was the crystal cube. And that is how you do the Valentine's magic crystals into crystal cube love trick for our. The 11th one, which is the Magic Appearing Valentine's Heart Magic Trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. Okay, so you can see you got my, uh, my top hat here. Watch. Watch, can this begin to dis dis disappear? Watch this. How is this done? It's a bunch of videos will be honest to you. Right now, all you need is um, a stick with the heart on top of it, and you're going to use is some scotch tape, and you're going to put this onto your finger. While make it nice and formal, a top hat. Like this, a party top hat. You can put it into uh, pink, whatever style you want. The heart goes in the back here, so I just flick it out. It will appear like this. Here's your basic. Okay. Because when to make it formal, use the hat so it's completely empty. Go into the hat like this. And pull it out, make it disappear. You just uh, reverse it. Empty. Make it appear. And make it disappear. And kind of reappear again by doing the same thing. From your top hat. And that is how you do the magic appearing Valentine's heart magic trick. 
for our 12th one, and that is the Happy Valentine's Day Cherry Cola. Surprise. Love. Magic trick. Here's yeah, the performance of what it looks like. So you can see here, I got my, uh, my uh, Cherry Cola right here. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour myself a drink. Okay. What I'm gonna do, do is, I'm just gonna put this aside for now. You can see that there's nothing on the inside. Right? Now, watch if we can try to do it again. Watch this. I get this. Okay, I didn't know that was inside this cherry cola can. When else this is done, this is time I reveal the secret. All you'll need is pink Easter grass from your Easter stuff, a cherry a cola can, um, the, the, cherry, the cherry cola, and a glass. That's all you'll need this trick. I'm gonna do is, is gonna keep a little bit of that in your in your in your um can. You're gonna palm this Easter grass into into your hand like this. Very easy to pack down and fold into your hand. Keep palm at all times during during this trick. Making sure the label is um, facing the audience and you get this clear thing. All you gotta do is in, in, your palm, in your palm at all times, like I just said, away to, uh, to you, just like this. What you're gonna do is gonna dump your cherry cola into your clear glass. So you see that they uh, can see it pouring out. Because they're all drips get inside there. And they can also take a look at it, at it. they can also try that there's nothing in, inside of it. Okay, so they're gonna move your glass out of the way. Can is there. So if you drink for it later, take your Coke, your Coca-Cola can, place it into your hand like this. What you gotta do is, as now you're gonna dump it out, you're gonna expel the pink Easter grass on the the table with a cherry cola can. Oh man. Hmm. Oh hello. Hey. Is it almost Valentine's Day? Yes, it's almost Valentine's Day. Oh. Oh. Do you want us rolls? Oh, thank you. Thank you. So much puppy love. So what do you have to say to the viewers out there? Oh, a wonderful happy Valentine's Day. Hey, do you have more trucks coming up? Yes, I do. Would you, would you um, want to introduce the next trick? Yes, I certainly do. Okay, so here we are at number 13, and that is the cola can appearing red silk. Magic trick. As it is, I must be off. Thank you so much for introducing our next trick. Okay, now presenting the cola can. Gonna take a look. Because it's completely empty. Even the can is all too. But, watch this. Again. Actually, now is take this account here and watch. Now, what is this coming from? An empty cola can. A red silk. How is this done? Because I'm about to reveal that refreshing trick to you right now. So, here is what, what you'll need for this trick. A red silk and your cola can. Okay, so the trick I'm gonna teach you right now. You're gonna bunch your red silk up and place it under your cola can because there's a little bit of room there. 
put that into your palm at all times. Keep your thumb and press that silk inside, making sure no red is exposed at all times. Okay, so you can see it has completely empty there. Again, that same thing too. Again, collect your silk. Again, you can see that's completely empty. Put your hand up over it, holding the cola can top, and then pulling the silk completely out of an empty cola can. And that is how you do the amazing cola can appearing red silk magic trick. For our 14th one down, and that is the Valentine's Day Multiplying Rolls Petal Bass Trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. Okay, you can see my, uh, my uh, pedal here. I'm going to place this into my uh, palm and watch. I bash it. Look what that one pedal just made. A bunch of pedals. How is this trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. Watch pedals with magic powers. Well, this one here you're going to need is your red rose petals that you see right here. Here's the bag of them right here. All you need is one petal and you need a handful of more petals to palm into your hand. So take you your lot into your hand and buns are really good because they are packable and they are very palm palmable. I'm going to leave one of your petals out for this trick. Come to a table, show them to the petal, making sure no petals are exposed. So you show one, you put that into your palm of your hand from here, you're going to bash it with your other hand like this. Hold it like this, and then bash, and making more petals appear, and then putting that one petal in, and it magically multiplies into many rose petals. And that's how you do the Valentine's Day multiplying rose petal fast trick. Now for our 15th one, which is the Happy Valentine's Day party cup decorating trick. Here is a performance to you of what it looks like. Okay, as it is, because I'm going to a, your party, I want to have a good decorate cup for Valentine's as it is, you see this here? There's no decorations on it, and here I got this very empty white cup. Watch this, I'm gonna put this inside like this. Watch, we can actually take my cup and watch. Magically, it decorates. How is this trick done? So I'm about to reveal the secret behind it right now. All you need is a white cup, a, a pink cup, red cup, or whatever cup you want, and just do some decorations on your given cup because it's going to be cut to fit nicely onto your cup like this. What you want to do is you want to place that into your white cup. Needs to be kind of deep so no one gets to see it. Because white and white, you don't even see it, so it looks completely empty. What you're going to do is place your cup in the inside, pinch the gimmick cup, and then drag it out with suspense, and magically decorating your Happy Val Valentine's Day a party cup. And that is how you do the Happy, Happy Valentine's Day Party Cup Decorating Trick. For our 16th one, which is the Magic Valentine's Magic Heart Wand Magic Trick. Here is the performance of what it looks like. For this, I'm going to actually magically produce 
the wand that we need that we need for this trick. Okay, so here's my heart wand. Check this up. Okay, actually now take this watch. You can see the swirls have magically disappeared from the heart wand. How is this trick done? I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you'll need is a felt heart with a stick, um, a hollow white tube, this place is sick and stuff like that. Just make it nice and fit on top. And then for those coils that you've seen, here's what it is. Red pipe cleaner that you're going to actually wrap around it. Like a coil. Go up to the top. Like that. So now it looks like it actually is a part of the wand. Okay. So what I'm just going to do is, you're going to do a production of that wand by going like this. Be quick about the wand production. Once that's done, I got to do is just roll these down. It's very easy to roll down this, like this. So as it rolls down, it's going to actually magically make them disappear. You're going to drop this at the edge of a table to your lap very, very quickly. And by magic, watching those spirals magically vanish from your heart magic wand. And that's how you do the Magic Valentine's Magic Heart Wand magic trick for our 17th one which is the red silk to Valentine's red candle magic trick here is the performance of what it looks like so here got my nice red red silk right here I'm gonna show you that there's something up my sleeves and again I'm gonna show you Nothing out there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually is put my silk into my fist like this. This I'm going to keep pushing like this. The idea is I'm going to just now is get that sponge off that silk and watch. Are you ready? Three, two, one. And it turns into a red candle. How is this trick done? So I'm about to reveal the secret to you right now. All you need for this is your red silk and a red candle. You're gonna put the red candle into your sleeve, like you see me doing, and you're good to go. Okay, you're gonna dress the silk into your hand so it looks nice and formal. Just like this. Okay, from here, you're gonna show there's nothing up your sleeves. By showing them inside your sleeves, and again that same thing to the other one, holding the candle down so they don't get to see it. Okay, from here, you're gonna actually now is take your red silk, proceed to put it into your head. There's no thumb tip involved. Go from here at the edge of the table, you're gonna drop the red silk. I'm thinking it's still in your hand. As you do that, you're gonna by the weight of the candle or go into your palm of your hand. Go in, go to, to actually fiddle around with that silk. I think this silk is still inside there. Take this out and be very quick and magically turn that silk and make it into a red candle. And that's how you do the red silk to Valentine's red candle magic trick. Now for our 18th one, which is the magic heart making paper trick. It was a performance of what it looks like. Okay, so you can see here, I got this the nice purple sheet of construction paper. 
back on the front. What we're going to now is take my wand and watch. Can wait to take this and watch. It magically turns that into a heart. How is this trick done? Because I'm about to reveal the secret. Watch this. First, watch. So here's what you'll need for this trick. You'll need is one sheet cut of a heart of the same sheet that you see right here. All you need is a magic wand. You can make this magic wand. So all the magic wands that I've said. It's pretty easy. All you gotta do is palm the heart piece and show it back in front. Put the heart piece back into here like this. Use a magic wand from here. And as you drop down, you're gonna switch your wand towards it like this. And turn it into a heart. The even things that you do not want to forget for your parties. Watch. Making sure you get these. And for hearts to actually fly into some rose petals. And now in saluting off was I just want to wish you a happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to Rachel's channel. When you do, you'll see some pretty amazing videos just like these ones, including other trick videos here on his channel. This is a message from you, truly, Bob. And right, let's make shining stars shine on Saints Day.